Hello, this is Dr. Jay Hartley, the Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center in St. Augustine, Florida. And today we're gonna to be going over some exercises for hyperkyphosis. One of the things we do with a hyperkyphosis patient is we use this mechanical drop. It helps to loosen up the thoracic spine, enable us to make the correction. So most hyperkyphosis patients have a posterior thorax translation, forward head, and then they have too much thoracic spine curve or a hyperkyphosis. And so what we um, have Colin doing today is he's on the mechanical drop like this. So it's bringing the thorax forward and it's taking out the hyperkyphosis. His head's dropped, so it's back behind the shoulders. Most of these patients have a forward head posture. And then the mechanical drop piece goes up and down and it's creating motion in the thoracic spine, making it more pliable to, to correct back to normal. We'll also do some other things like Pedipon warm-up exercises to get the patient ready to change that hyperkyphosis to a normal kyphosis. So we'll usually do that for five or 10 minutes. You can go ahead and come on up, Colin. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do traction over a foam roll. So the apex of the roll will be the apex of the hyperkyphosis or slightly below it. And so we have it at T7 for Colin. And then he's gonna start off doing this for a minute. And then we're gonna slowly build up to five or 10 minutes. And then when we know they can tolerate in the office, then we'll also do it at home. Okay, all right, Colin, come on up. So you can see it's reducing the posterior thorax translation, reducing the forward head, and reducing the hyperkyphosis. We're gonna come over here and do an exercise against the wall. And so we're gonna again put the roll at T7 or slightly below. So the roll is taking away the posterior thoracic translation. He's doing an exercise where he's bringing his head straight back. He's going to hold these contractions for 10 seconds, um, 10 times, and just relax for a second. So they're pressing their hips into the wall as hard as they can. Then they're tucking their chin, bringing the head back. Go ahead and do that again, Colin. Hold for 10 seconds. And so he's going to go ahead and do that 10 seconds, uh, 10 times repeatedly while I'm talking. There are some other things we do also. Um, Halo makes what's called a posture strap. So it's bringing the shoulders back like this and we'll have the patient stand on an air disc on the vibe while they're doing that. We can also use a spinal weighting called the backpack. So it kind of looks like the posture strap except there, there's a weight hanging in the upper thoracic spine. So that's a customized thing that we do. And then also if the patient has a 50 or 60 degree Kyphosis, we may also use a brace from Scully Brace called a, a Kypho brace that does a really good job in reducing these kyphosis. Now, most patients with this hyperkyphosis are males. Now, remember, male spines mature a little bit later than females. So, this may be something that comes on at like 14, 15, 16 years old, where in females, usually scoliosis spines develop around age 12, okay? So this has been Dr. Jay Hartley at the Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center in St. Augustine, Florida, talking about hyperkyphosis and things we can do to reduce that. You go out there and make yourself a great day.